Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NHL slate for tonight, December 20th. Um, it's a, you know, nice candy eight-game slate, and we're going to use the same process as we, uh, as we have been. Um, we're going to first take a look at the team totals, then we're going to look at my projections and build kind of a, uh, a hand-built lineup uh, with that. And it'll also give us a sense of how I don't know, easy it is to build lineups. Um, and then we're going to run uh, a build with Saberson, which is, you know, the optimizer slash uh, uh, smart randomizer, I guess is a better way to describe it, uh, tool that can help build good upside lineups. I encourage everybody watching this to go to truedfs.com for more uh, content involving uh, projections and sheets and tutorials and things like that. And uh, let's just get into it. So first of all, with respect to the team totals, let's first take a look at what Saberson has here. It's looking like LA with a 3.7 is kind of leading, leading the charge. And then you have Calgary also at 3.7, Seattle at 3.6, um, and then a little bit of a drop to, to Toronto at 3.4. Now, again, remember, remember, this is just the team total. This does not necessarily... I mean, it does correlate somewhat to, to fantasy points, but um, it doesn't correlate to good plays, right? Because it's possible that everybody from these teams is too expensive. But it's a, it's good to kind of start with what is probably going to look good. So we're looking at Kings, Calgary, Seattle. Um, those would be the top three. Now, again, to compare this with what other sites kind of look like, uh, Daily Roto, which is free as well, um, they – have Carolina as more, wow, Carolina 3-8, Philly at 4, Pittsburgh at 3-8, then Toronto 3-8, Winnipeg at 4. So they have Seattle and L.A. at the top, and then all these other teams like Calgary and Winnipeg the same. Let me go back to Saberson for a second and see what they have Winnipeg at. Um, they have them only as 3 this is this is really every time I look at this, it, it's it's kind of shocking to me how different all these models team totals are. Um uh anyway, um so if you go with this group, not with this group, you know, you, you're still gonna get the Seattle and LA, but other teams just kind of come into play as well. Um then we'll look at one more, this daily face-off guys again. They they're doing all right job. Still not Completely sold on how good of a job they do specifically with DFS, but we'll we'll take a look at the team totals for now. And they have the Kings up at the top by a pretty decent margin with nobody over four. And then a drop down to the, they put the filth flyers up there a little bit. And then Calgary and Seattle just kind of joined the fray. So one thing that's common among all these places that the Kings rate to be kind of the top play, which is which is interesting. But the other thing, not the top play, just the top overall team total. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put my my sheets up here, and this is always what I do. And and people, you know, when I started doing content, they wanted to know how I built my lineups. This is exactly what I do. Very beginning of the day or whatever that day is, you know, whether it be in the afternoon or whatever, uh, after I run my projections, I will just visualize this, and I will just take a look and see what it all looks like. And and. What I'm looking for are multiple guys from the same team that are in the top kind of panel. Now, you say top panel. Uh, on my panel, I have top 30. Okay, now, yeah, you can obviously scroll down. But again, this is, this is, visual, this is visual, right? First thing I want to look at is, boom, anything in the top 20, you know, or anything in this top panel that they all have the same team. And then what I'll do is I'll scroll off to the right and then get greedier and see if you have multiple guys that are in the same either even strength line or power play line or both. Um, now, I do have ownership projections as well. And, yeah, it's very likely that the top-rated guys are going to be the guys that are projected with the highest ownership. It certainly makes sense. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to try to build a hand-built lineup based on that. And then we will um, have Saberson build some for us. So the first thing you see that kind of just stands out just – and you don't get this too often is – the top two overall plays on the slate are from the same team, from the same line. Um, it, it really doesn't happen as often as you might think it would. So it's something to respect. So I have the aforementioned LA Kings 
um, have two two customers in here. That's Adrian Kemp and Kevin Fiala. Again, both on the same line. So it's kind of hard to ignore. So you're probably going to want to start your stacks with these two guys and pretty much everybody that's in you know that's on these lines with them. Uh, but let's just kind of look down and see what else we have. We have James Van Riemsdyk, who is next rated guy. Is there any Philly guys in the list here? Not really. You know, as I'm scrolling down, I really don't see much Philly at all. And then this is we have Bjorkstan from Seattle, who we talked we talked about Seattle a little bit in the team totals. And you got a couple of others. You got Sprong here, and you got Eberly. And if these guys are in the same line, they're worth considering. So Eberly is a one-one. Sprong is a 4-1, so he's only going to be there on the power play. And then Bergstrand, 2-2. Two, two. So this is not really a well-correlated uh, lineup, a well-correlated team with respect to how they fit within the projection. So I'd probably uh, – they would definitely not be a priority if I were hand-building. I just want to see if anybody can just kind of rival the uh, the, the Kings as, as, as some place to start. I mean, it's not it's not bad enough that you have these two top guys here, but you also have this cheapo defenseman that's also a one-one. Um, and then you have these these LA guys, these guys down here at Kopitar to 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 finish it off. So this is, I imagine, it's going to be huge chalk. I mean, if I'm seeing this, I'm presuming other people are too. But it's definitely hard to ignore. The one other team that I will kind of throw in is Winnipeg here, because you have two guys that are in the top ten or so both from the same power play line for Fetty and Connor. And then Dubois is also the same power play line and he looks pretty good as well. So what I'll do is I'll kind of scroll down just a little bit, see what else I can dig up down here. And yeah, there's Sheffley. So I think that, I think that the Winnipeg line and, or the, um, the LA line are the ways I'm going to probably hand build. Uh, the other thing before we get into it is is with goalies, uh, us almost always will look for the cheapest, especially from hand building, the cheapest viable goalie that makes the rest of it work. So any of these guys work. So so Reamer, Vanacek, uh, Shostakin, I, uh, Shostakin. I probably don't need to go up to Jerry, but I don't have to. Uh, and I probably don't need to pay up for Markstrom either. So let's uh, let's build the lineup. Let's see uh, let's see what we have here. Let's start with uh, 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 from the Rangers. It's just there. Okay. So let's first um, let's build the LA guys. All right. Let's let's just see what it looks like. Uh, is this at LA? Oh, like that. We don't worry about don't worry about the rest of the slate. I'm not. Go to the Nick game, then I'll probably be home by the time this first game starts. This last game starts. Actually, it'll be close. So let's put these in. Fiala, uh, Kemp. Maybe people won't play them because they don't feel like waiting for, for late games. Uh, Sean Walker. Boom. And then Kopitar. So we start with these four, like right off the bat. And you can see that you could just, you could, you got all the salary in the world, you know. So if you want to make a five man, you could add in, well, Arvidsson, you don't really want to add in. He's not on that line. So this is the four. Um, let me just see just for just for fun who the fifth guy is. Well, not the fifth guy, you know, who who the other LA guys are on that line. Um Hemp, Fiala, Walker, Kopitar. So you have Drew Doughty and and Mikey Anderson. It's all perfectly correlated. So, I mean, you don't you don't have to do this, right? But we put in Drew Doughty, and then the sixth guy. You don't you don't want to play six, right? Um, but just so you can see who they all are, you have Mikey Anderson. So any of these guys just stack up just beautifully. So let's just take I don't know one of them out this one so you can afford to do whatever you want um let's take uh let's take dowdy out too just for the hell of it because what you can do is go back to winnipeg 
I promise you can play whoever you want from that stack. So let's go back to who we like from Winnipeg. Uh, and that would be uh, center was Shet was uh, Sheffle, very easy. O'Connor, very easy. I mean, given given what we all the money we have available. And then uh, we play Dubois here. And then punt one at defense. You know what I mean? Like so you could you could you could play this extremely easily. And I imagine, I mean, just because I was able to do it in two seconds, probably rates to be kind of a chalky build, but nonetheless, um seems pretty seems logical to me. And I, I looked at my my sheets and I see a thirty five hundred dollar defender, which is like staring me right in the face, which I could fill in this lineup. Um what we'll do is we will get rid of this for now. After I remember to put this in here, hold on. So we have, who was that? And I, I'm definitely going to change change this, but I mean, it's like such an easy lineup to build right off the bat. I don't want I don't want it to win without me having having a piece of it uh, just in case. I'm gonna put that in over there. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build lineups using SaberSim. So what we do again is we will upload from the um, from my projection file, and you can do this from TrueDF, TrueDFS as well. But we will upload it from here. Exclude unlisted players. Sebastian Aho is out, so we will ignore him. And let's build. I don't know 150 lineups and see what. Um, what we would come up with. I, I it was just, just so trivial. I, I, I imagine they're gonna jam in like pretty much very similar stuff, but you just never know. You just never know what Sabersim is going to do here for you or to you. Um maybe they jam in all the Torontos. I doubt it. Let's just see. Okay. What do you think of this? Who are all these people? So here, team stacks, it does have LA top stack, but Colorado, excuse me, Columbus next and Philadelphia. So it is very similar. The one thing I would notice is that, and again, there's all these four twos they recommend. Just for the hell of it, if I was just going to say only four threes and five twos, okay, let's say they're 50% five threes and, excuse me, 50% four threes. And 50% five twos. And we'll send the exposures to here. Now let's see what we would get now if we demanded those types of constructions. Because I do like those. Looks like it's struggling. I don't know why Saberson is really grinding out these four twos recently. I think they don't win. Maybe they do win. Maybe I haven't been um I maybe I haven't been on it. Um same thing. It's getting a lot of these tamp what are these Tampas? Still mostly kings though. Stack types, okay. Very good. Um, see a lot more, a lot more Columbus than I thought. Very interesting. Um, okay. In any case, uh, that that's going to do it for tonight's uh, slate breakdown. Um, I encourage everybody to go look, you know, look at updated projections where possible. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be around tonight because um, I'm going to the Nick game, as I mentioned. So I'll try to do one update before I leave. And you know, it'll be late enough. It'll be like 530 or something like that. So I think it's pretty fair. Um, and uh, that should do it. Good luck, everybody.